Exploring Cabo Verde unveiling its richness and diversity. Welcome to Exploring Africa with Power Africa where we embark on a captivating journey to uncover the essence of each unique African nation. In this episode, our focus is on Cabo Verde, an archipelago nation located off the northwest coast of Africa. Join us as we delve into its geographical, historical, cultural, and socio-economic aspects. Cape Verde and Cabo Verde refer to the same country. Cape Verde is the English name, while Cabo Verde is the Portuguese name, which is the official language of the country. Both terms are used interchangeably to refer to the island nation located off the coast of West Africa. Cabo Verde consists of 10 volcanic islands and 8 islets, boasting stunning landscapes, rugged coastlines, and pristine beaches. Situated in the Atlantic Ocean, its location makes it a strategic crossroads between Africa, Europe, and the Americas. The islands are known for their diverse topography, ranging from mountainous terrain to lush valleys, with a semi-arid climate prevalent throughout. Cabo Verde has a rich history shaped by its role as a Portuguese colony and its position as a pivotal hub in the transatlantic slave trade. The islands were uninhabited until the 15th century when Portuguese explorers established settlements and introduced African slaves to cultivate sugarcane and other crops. In the centuries that followed, Cabo Verde became a crucial stopover for ships en route to the Americas, contributing to its multicultural heritage and vibrant music and art scene. Since gaining independence from Portugal in 1975, Cabo Verde has embraced democracy, with regular elections and peaceful transitions of power. The country operates under a multi-party political system, with a president serving as head of state and a prime minister leading the government. Notable leaders include Amilcar Cabral, a key figure in the struggle for independence, and Pedro Pires, who served as president from 2001 to 2011. Cabo Verde's economy is driven by tourism, remittances, and service industries, with fishing and agriculture also playing significant roles. The country has developed infrastructure and invested in renewable energy to support its growing tourism sector, attracting visitors with its pristine beaches, vibrant culture, and welcoming atmosphere. Additionally, Cabo Verde benefits from its strategic location for transatlantic trade and maritime services. Cabo Verde boasts a rich cultural heritage influenced by African, European, and Creole traditions. Music, dance, and storytelling are integral to daily life, with genres like Morna, Coladeira, and Funana embodying the spirit of the islands. The people of Cabo Verde are known for their warmth, hospitality, and strong sense of community, with festivals and celebrations reflecting the country's diverse cultural tapestry. Cabo Verde has made significant strides in education and human development since independence, with improvements in literacy rates, access to healthcare, and overall quality of life. The government has invested in education and vocational training to empower its citizens and promote economic growth, with a focus on sustainable development and poverty reduction. While Cabo Verde faces challenges related to water scarcity and limited arable land, the islands are rich in natural resources such as fish, salt, and renewable energy sources like wind and solar power. Agriculture remains important for domestic food production, with crops like maize, beans, and sweet potatoes cultivated in terraced fields. The government is also exploring opportunities for sustainable development and ecotourism to preserve the island's unique ecosystems. Cabo Verde has a diverse population of around 560,000 inhabitants, with the majority residing in urban areas along the coast. The capital city, Praia, is located on the island of Santiago and serves as the country's political and economic center. Other major cities include Mindelo on São Vicente Island and Asomada on Santiago Island, each offering their own distinct charm and cultural attractions. One aspect that could be highlighted further about Cabo Verde is its unique Creole language, known as Criolu or Cape Verdean Creole. This language, derived from Portuguese with influences from African languages, has become an integral part of the country's identity and culture. Criolu is spoken by the majority of the population and serves as a symbol of Cabo Verde's multicultural heritage and historical ties to both Africa and Europe. Additionally, the cuisine of Cabo Verde is worth mentioning, featuring dishes that blend African, Portuguese, and Brazilian flavors, such as cachapa, a hearty stew, and pastis de peixe, fish pastries. 
These cultural elements contribute to the vibrant tapestry of Cabo Verdean society and further enrich the visitors' experience of the islands. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey through Cabo Verde. From its breathtaking landscapes to its vibrant culture and rich history, this archipelago nation embodies the spirit of exploration and discovery. Stay tuned for more episodes as we continue to explore the richness and diversity of Africa with Power Africa.